and he's got a home win to start the season and a job well done. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's always good to get off to, to a winning start in the season, no matter who you're playing against. But this was always sort of potential banana skin because we didn't, they were unknown quantity really. And, um, you know, having come up last year um, so well, you know, we knew it was going to be a tough game. We'd seen them, we knew they were organised and had some good players and they brought a few experienced players in. So it's always going into the unknown a little bit. Um, but I thought that um, we played some really, really good stuff, um, looked pretty comfortable, um, got a little bit sloppy towards the end uh, in areas, but it was just tiredness, I think, um, but overall a good performance, still things to work on, um, but when we, when we do it right, everyone would see that we're, we're a decent side and we can move the ball properly, um, and that was encouraging, you know, we should make good performances today. I said it was a commanding first half and always good to get a goal in the first 10 minutes. It settles early nerves. Yeah, that's right. And, um, you know, we, when, when we got the ball wide and um, we turned out and we passed it well, we could find gaps and, you know, Brett scored a good goal. And Jordan came up with another one after good work from Josh Scott. You know, it's still areas where it's felt we got a bit untidy on the ball and didn't move it as simply as we should have done. Um, you know, we were. We were getting at them at the, in the wide areas. Jane in the first half was giving them all sorts of problems, um, and we can, you know, we can still do that more. You know, we, if if something's working, we need, we need to keep doing it. And I think it kept became a little bit easy at times, and we tried to do things that were too hard rather than just keeping doing the same thing. So that's just going to come. You know, it takes four or five, six games to get into it, but you know, I think everyone saw that there's there's certainly reasons to be cheerful this year, and some, we've got some good players, and we're able to bring in. You know, Dan Fitchett and Joe and Gesson, who both came on and looked really, really threatening. And you know, Tom coming for the last couple of minutes, but you know, we've got options now. And that is it. There's lots of attacking options. You say Jaden coming forward from right back, and so many other attacking options. And Josh Scott particularly started really well. Maybe all the focus before the game was on Brett as the top scorer last year, but Josh had two assists, and then he got the third goal himself. Yeah, that's right. And um, you know, he's. Uh, you know, we've spoken about it, and I want him to get rewarded for all the hard work that he does. And uh, you know, Brett gets all the plaudits, but Josh's hard work was instrumental in us staying up last year, and and it'll be you know key to where we finish this year. So we need all our all centre forwards that we've got scoring goals, and it was nice for those both of them to get off the mark. Third goal was a really good goal, great ball in, um, and we arrived at the, at the time and um, you know scored a good goal. So that's that's going to settle both of them down, but. You know, Josh is a great lad. You know, he, he, he's been fantastic since he came in. You know, he's, he's fit now. Um, but he's showing that he's fit and that he can he really torment sides. And you know, we've got opportunities to change it around with injuries. But you know, the, the lads have done well today, and we're, we're very, very pleased with it. And the other debutants seem to fit in pretty well. Glenn Wilson does what we know he does. Damon the Throck in midfield as well. Yeah, we got we got good players, you know, and um, you know, Kieran's one of those who probably you don't notice him too much, but he does hell of a lot of good work. And we've got good, we've got players who can move the ball well and are comfortable on the ball. And um, you know, Glenn Wilson and, and Joe look pretty comfortable at the back. Um, you know, Phil looked very assured in goal, and um, you know, we brought the players in to, to improve on on last year, and that's what we're looking to do. And um, it's a good start. And you say Kieran Forbes doesn't maybe doesn't catch the eyes often but I thought a couple of times in the first half almost playing that quarterback position kind of launching counter-attacks with long raking passes forward. Yeah and that's that's only because we get them in the right positions and they, they understand what we're trying to do and, and both Damon and, and Kieran are clever footballers and we want them to be able to pass the ball to each other and working on how we do that and how effective it is and the opposition how they can't cope with it and if they do press then the options that we've got into our front players. Um, so it's just going to develop as it goes on. We're still seeing things in players that we think that we can um, you know, improve on, and what they also what we do that we didn't know they could do, and, and that gives us an opportunity to move it on another page. So um, yeah, it's going to be a evolving group of, of players. Um, you know, but um, to get off of three points is great. You know, they'll uh, altering all be a tough side to, to beat, especially at home. But you know, this was this was a a game that we, we want to get off the mark quickly and, and give us an opportunity to go into Eastleigh with a good three points under our belt and see you know, where we stand with them because they've had a great result today at, at Nuneaton. Um, so it'll be a good test for us and see you know, how far we are away from being on other sides that could be you know, challenging or, uh, or how far we are. In, in the second half, the final half hour particularly, we saw the other side of the team having to 
dig in. Lee Sinnott's changes made a difference. They were a better side in the second half, but they had their pressure without really creating many chances. I wouldn't say they were the better side in the second half. They might have been the better side in the last 20 minutes, but that's because of tiredness and you know we were three one up and you know we had people making mistakes and you know Brett had Dan Fitch it in for the lady being wanted to score himself. We were, people were taking liberties with, with the ball. And that's been highlighted in the change room that you know no matter where we are position wise you, you make sure you do the right thing. And we got sloppy last twenty minutes. But we moved the ball well. Jordan got some good crosses in, we had some good work from Jaden and Joe and Gesson when he came on, so certainly you know they're always gonna have a go the last twenty minutes and they put Cole Perry in and started launching balls forward. Um, but in general we cope with it pretty well. And now you say on to Eastley they won today. A good Hampshire derby, live on television, a good occasion to show the club off in its best light. Yeah, and that's what we want to do, but it's important that we keep everyone level-headed that you know, we've, we've won one game, um, but Eastleigh will be certainly challenging at the top of the league and it's going to be a very, very tough proposition, but um, we believe that we've got the players and uh, to go and, and cause the problems, and I think everyone's seen that today here, um, we've got to improve on little areas, but um, it'll be a, a good test and like you say, the opportunity to in front of the cameras to show all the shot in a, in, a, in a good light rather than all the press that we've had over the last year has been about administration and problems here. And maybe it's an opportunity to show how far we've come from there.